the magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment, that's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. All the drama next here on EA TV. Hello, great to be with you and welcome to this quarter-final match here at the 2024 European Championship. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics boards to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. I'll tell you what, tension levels are high indeed. It's Belgium versus France. Well, what a game we have in store for us today, Derek. Both these teams have really good play, slightly different styles of play and there's so much at stake. Let's hope they both perform at their best here. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. The ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Bakayoko.
but not by a lot. Well, that's so tight, isn't it? But on this occasion, it doesn't get the benefit of the doubt. to win it back. Just look at how poor the defending is here, but I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Teo Hernandez. Here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. So back on the way. Will there be a response from France here? William Saliba and Upamecano. Dembele. Now with Upamecano. France moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Went in strongly, decisively. As we can see here, the pass from Coman is absolutely perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Grossard. halfway 
stage in this match. second half. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. And he has options available. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Tossa, promising move from Belgium. Tielemans, patient build-up at the moment. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Will it be? And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the action is restarted, and it's been a goal-scoring masterclass from France so far. You sense it's a question of how many. Ikoma Noiso Penda.
short. And angling it back. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Just the clearance that was called for. change. Delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And that will be a corner. And the substitution will occur now. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it?
And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. but completely overhit and it's all over on a big day for France they've booked their place in the last four here at the European Championship well it was all in a bit of a canter to be honest they dominated pretty much from the start and it left the result in little doubt they'll be full of confidence going into the next round and in the final analysis a really positive performance from this man Stuart yeah he was superb today he took his goals really well but it was his general play that impressed me. Lots of energy, great movement, and so skillful.